A common practice to automate the deployment of resources into the Azure cloud is to use CI-CD pipelines with BICEP templates. So the pipeline typically would go to take that BICEP template and then deploying, deploy it to the Azure cloud. But to this simple CI-CD process, we want to add some other steps that will make it a little bit more complete. So we'll add, we can add a step, for example, to do the preview of these changes into the CI-CD pipeline. So we can add a task that will perform the command what if. So using the command line az deployment to group what if, we can preview the changes that will be made by that BICEP template to view what are the changes that will be made to my infrastructure before actually deploying that changes. That's some sort of a dry run for my template. Another task that is really useful to add here is to create two stages. First stage will go to preview these changes and then second stage that's gonna go to deploy those changes into Azure. But in between these two stages, we can add manual validation where we require a human or a group of people to go to um, approve or reject the changes that will be made by that template. So they should be able to go to read the changes of the preview stage, the first stage that will output the previews. And then if they accept, they will go to click the approve button. And that will go to trigger the deployment of that infrastructure into the cloud. Let's see how this works. So all the infrastructure will be shown and or will be written into a, a BICEP template, which looks like this one that I have here, the .bicep uh, uh, file. So this one is a sample for creating a web application and an app service plan using BICEP. So I have some parameters, some variables that will be used into this configuration. And you can see for each resource, we have its name, location, the kind, and uh, the properties or the configuration for that resource. I try to take this uh, BICEP template and deploy it using GitHub Actions. So in earlier videos, we have already seen how we can do that using the Azure command line where we go to create a new resource group and then we use the command az deployment to group what if to preview the changes and then deployment to group create in order to deploy that BICEP template. Today, we will do that through using DevOps pipeline using GitHub Actions. So what I have done here is that I've gone to actions and then I have created a new workflow and you see here I have two workflows that I'll show you. So when we create a new workflow, the page will tell me here if I want to create a new workflow or if I want to take one of the existing workflows and make it as my starting point. Here I go to create a new one. So set up workflow yourself and this will give me a sample uh, workflow that contains just two tasks. I have uh, started from this file and they have made some changes to it. And at the end, I have actually get a pipeline like this. So I've changed the name, I've changed the trigger. So this one will be triggered each time I have a pull request on the main branch. I disabled the, um, the push on the main branch. And then I have enabled the workflow dispatch. This will allow me to start this pipeline manually using a button from within GitHub Actions. And then because here I want to use some environment variables, I've defined two. One is the resource group name that I want to create from Microsoft Azure because when I deploy a BICEP template as uh, into a group, I need to create that resource group first. And then I define the name for my web app. And then I have two jobs in this workflow. First job will be dedicated to preview the changes that will be made by Azure BICEP. So that will run on the runner, which is Ubuntu latest. That's the build machine or the runner. And then we have here the different steps that will run as part of that pipeline, which will start by checking out the application source code uh, from the Git repository. And then we'll go to login into Microsoft Azure because I want to deploy a BICEP template. So first I need to log in to Microsoft Azure and I'll do that using my credentials right here. So I have here a reference to secret.azure credentials, which is by the way, I have created using the Azure CLI. So that was actually the command az id sp create for airbag and then the name and the scope and 
the role airbag that I want to attribute give to that service principle and the output will be something like this so that's a JSON file that I need to put as a secret in my github repository so how we do that we go to settings from our project and then we should find here a configuration for uh, the uh, different secrets so if I go here to security secrets actions here I can go to create a new repository secret by just uh, uh, saying I want to provide a secret name and then the value of, uh, uh, of that uh, secret for example and you can see from my pipeline here um, I have two secrets Azure credentials which contains that JSON file and then the subscription ID for my Azure subscription. And then I'll use those secrets from within my pipeline in order to log into my Azure subscription so that we log in using that service principle behind those credentials. And this means that all the tasks below from within the same job will be able to use uh, to access my Azure subscription using that service principle identity. So right at the uh, below here I go to create a new resource group from within my Azure subscription so I use the inline script here that will check the Azure command line version and then it will go to use the command iz group create in order to create a resource group with the name of the environment variable that I have uh, specified uh, earlier uh, right here and then with the location based euro for example then I will go to preview the changes that will be made by this bicep template so here I provide the subscription ID, the resource group name, the template file, which uh, will point to the .bicep file, and then the parameters that I want to override right here, uh, which are going to be the web app name, that's a parameter from within my bicep template. And at the end of the execution, this will show me what will be changed if by this template. Once I'm done with that, I can go to the second stage or the second job where here I go to deploy that bicep template so remember this is uh, using what if so it's not actually deploying the bicep it's just previewing it's like a dry run of that template but next on the next uh, job right here I go to run that uh, bicep template in order to really deploy the resources within it so, but before doing this step, I want to add a manual approval for this. So uh, I need to have one person or a group of people approving those uh, changes that will be made by that bicep template and then clicking on the button that says, yes, I can approve to deploy this into my dev test or production environments. So here I'm simulating that's uh, going to be my dev environment. And to add that manual approval here, I need first to create uh, an environment so that's gonna be my dev environment how I did that actually when I go back here to settings you should be able to uh, view that we have here uh, environments so if I go to environments we can go to create a new environment I have already the dev environment but we can go to create another environment that could be used from within your pipeline so I can say here production for example and then from within the pipeline I can reference to that environment name and uh, after creating that environment now if I want to for example add some approval uh, when I want to deploy it to that environment I can configure it from this page right here where I can say required uh, reviewers I check that and then I can put the name of the people that uh, should be able to uh, review and approve those changes either approve or reject also of course so, and I can here add a wait timer of course if I save this uh, protection rules those will be made and they can uh, ask for approval each time I want to deploy to my production environment I have done that only for one environment which is the dev environment but if you want to add it for your production environment it's going to be the same the same configuration so before deploying into the dev environment i want to ask for manual approval uh, through the uh, environment and then um, jobs in github actions in default they will run in parallel if i want to run them in sequence then i need to add a dependency between the different jobs so i'm adding here with the needs keyword I'm adding um, a dependency to the first job which is called preview bicep uh, changes which is this one here the name of that job or the ID of that job 
and then I want again to run it on an Ubuntu machine and the different steps are going to be checking out the application source code to get that bicep template and then log into my Azure subscription uh, running or creating the resource group if it doesn't exist and then I go to deploy that bicep template using the task arm deploy the v1. So behind the scenes this task will run the command az uh, deployment group create and it will get the uh, bicep uh, template and also the name of the resource group and the subscription id with the parameters that will be overridden let's see this pipeline in action so if i go here to actions i should be able to see my two pipelines uh, the first one with simple job and the second one shown in this video for two jobs and into this one I can go here to say run workflow because I've configured it into the YAML uh, workflow so to run manually now if I go to refresh the page I should see a new pipeline started running it was queued and here I can see the two stages for or the two jobs for that pipeline. First job is to preview the changes and then second one is to deploy into the dev environment. So the first job will go to log into my Azure subscription, checking out the application source code, creating the resource group if it doesn't exist, and then previewing the changes from Bicep. And that's what we can see here when previewing the changes. We can see here that we have some resources to be modified one to modify and one there will be no change in it and my pipeline uh, stopped right here actually you can see that second job didn't started money or didn't started automatically because it's still waiting for an approval from myself so if i click here on that second job i can see this message waiting for review dev needs approval to start deploying changes I go to click on review pending deployment and from here I can see the name of that environment I'm the only approval here and then I can leave a comment if I want to and then I can go to say approve and deploy to this dev environment when I click that my second job will start running immediately in a few seconds and again, that will go to look into Azure, create the resource group, and then we'll start deploying that bicep template into my dev environment within Microsoft Azure Cloud. So at the end of this deployment, you should be able to view the resources created by this task. So if I go to my Azure subscription, uh, to the resource groups, I should see here a new resource group created, and that contains my two resources, which are the app service and the app service plan. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.